This week we are exploring Oregon City, Oregon. We are here at Willamette Falls, which is the second largest waterfall by volume in North America. The 42 foot high and 1500 foot falls occurs 26 miles upstream from when the Willamette meets the Columbia River. In April of 2015, it was designated a natural heritage area for it being an important historic, cultural, and industrial site. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, they built this gigantic paper mill that used the water to grind up the, the wood and everything. And now you can see it just drastically altered the natural landscape of the river and is still having an effect. So we went to Clackamas River Park and we're going over to the Clackamas Cove Lake. We think so. Maybe, yeah. We're not sure if we're parked in the right space. Right now we're walking underneath the bridge. <laughs> Troll that lives under the bridge. We just found this thing, but I don't know what it is. It says Hotel Something Museum. Looks like there used to be a spiral staircase here that went up, but it's been cut off long ago. Okay. So we had a whole plan to go travel through Oregon City and see all of these different things. We made it to one place, tried to find another place and realized there was no parking big enough for our bus and kind of got overwhelmed. So we decided to make our way to where we're spending the night tonight and realized that it still was like everything around there also had like there were some hiking trails, but there's no parking. And we decided that cities just really aren't where we want to spend our time. So we found this nice little park called Wagon Wheel Park. And we've just been sitting here reading and kind of relaxing um, and feeling a lot less stressed and overwhelmed. So that is what happened today. So we're changing up our plans. So we signed up for Harvest Hosts and we're going to try that tonight. And then we've got uh, next week a string of those lined up so we're going to see how that goes but then I think we're going to try to find isolated places we're going to try to get way away from populations and things and I think that'll be a grand adventure yeah we like being not in cities so we like being out in nature on like state parks on the weekdays the weekends get a little crowded um and we like just exploring like we really liked our mountain drive that we had and stuff like that. So I think we're going to focus more on that. Yeah, we were reflecting on how much fun that mountain drive day was and we just enjoyed it. And then today attempting the city stuff was horrible and stressful. It's not good. So we're going to try more of that in the future. Yeah. <laughs> our uh, upper cabinets broke again. So instead of them falling onto our faces in the night, we're going to try to fix it with these brackets right now in this parking lot when we're supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> we had just made the other video about why we were here and then Alice noticed this. There is literally only one, a bolt holding that on. And that's where our heads are right now. But this is what we had to do the other side because it happened over here before. Um, but this is Alice's setup, is drilling it over a trash can. Yep. So here we were just trying to decompress and then Alice looks up and goes, oh, that's not good. That could fall on your head and I'm all, should I not lay here? And she was like, no, you need to go. <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> so. All I wanted to do was relax. <sighs> Keep at it. Last night was our first day at a Harvest Host. We were at Trillium Distillery. Our fellow Harvest Hosters that were camped there next to us had almost the exact same bus that we had. So that was really Crazy. funny. That's fun. So we spent like a good hour and a half talking with them and just chatting about all of our stuff. Uh, and then we showed each other our builds and it was really fun to meet somebody on the road who was so similar. Yeah. And then we did a tasting inside and it was a really good experience. I probably would have never gone to a gin distillery. And I was actually pleasantly surprised and happy that I did. So I think that was nice to get us out of our normal spaces that we would go to. Today we're spending the day at Malala River State Park before heading back up towards Portland area. 
It's got a nice parking lot, some big open fields, and a boat launch, and it's right next to the river. And it's really nice. It's a really quiet spot, which is exactly what we're looking for. Yes, it's very nice to be able to relax under the trees. We're on the boat here headed to Mexico, and we have a spot on deck six, which is right next to the nightclub. So we'll see how that goes tonight. Uh, and the boat is pretty big, and this is really exciting. We took a cruise down to Mexico on the Carnival Panorama. We're going to Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, and Cabo San Lucas. It's been a lot of fun. We did some of the sports things up on the top, and we've had a lot of good food. And it's been nice just watching the ocean just go by nice and calmly. We weren't supposed to stop at Cabo San Lucas until the end of the trip, but we had a surprise stop uh, to do a medical disembarkation, I believe. So we got to see the city from the ship uh, out in the bay, and that was a neat little bonus. But now we're back at sea going across over to Puerto Vallarta. I was just looking outside and there are flying fish here. We visited Puerto Vallarta and it was a great day. We used the DD app uh, to get the ride share into town and it cost about $8 or so each way for the 15 minute ride. And that was a really good experience. We went down to Zona Romantica and we replaced our wedding rings, which was really special for us. I went swimming and the water was so warm. It's warmer than any water I've ever swam in before. After that, we just walked around the city and then came back to the boat and spent a nice afternoon here. The temperature and the humidity are so high. It is way above what we are comfortable in. So I think we're definitely going to be seeking out deserts in the future. <laughs> But it was a great city to visit, and then now we're headed on to Mazatlan tomorrow. We just saw the cliff diver here, and since we're ahead of all the tourist buses, he said we could come up to where he just jumped off of. So this is how high he just jumped from. The jungle is beautiful back there in the city, and we toured around, but it is amazingly hot. Uh, the feels like is 109 today, which is too hot for us. So we headed back to the boat and we are enjoying a day here. <laughs> then we went up to see the Mazatlan sign, which was full of people, but that was okay. And then we walked into the Golden Zone uh, and went to the uh, Shell Museum. <laughs> and then we came back and it was a nice day. Today we visited Cabo San Lucas and it was a lot of fun. Our main activity today was doing snorkeling. We went to Playa del Chileno, which is about 20 minutes outside of town. The uh, Uber ride there was pretty expensive, but we got there with no problem. Uh, and we were on the beach by about 9 a.m. So we had it mostly to ourselves for quite a while. The fish were amazing. I've never seen so many and so colorful. So that was a lot of fun. Then we got back to the port and took the water tender back to the boat and it was the busiest marina I have ever been in. There were big boats right next to each other, but totally chaotic and everybody driving just amazingly and we made it back to the boat nice and safe. So that was our trip to Mexico on the Carnival Panorama.